So, welcome back to 10 a.m. Tea with Natalie. I do not understand this rotate the device. Hopefully this makes it not crooked. Mm -hmm. It was totally sideways yesterday, and I cannot understand what's going on with Facebook. I've been doing it the same way this whole time. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I'm coming in today to talk to you guys about myrrh essential oil, and I am wearing a red sweater, and it's not an accident. Myrrh is kind of very similar to um, Mars in regards to like being like the red planet, the planet of war, and um, the planet of action and getting things done. And so um, myrrh is something that I'm definitely adding to my coconut oils and my castor oils and my um, you know argan oils and jojoba oils and the different products that I'm using for my skin. And I really, really love it. It's a little bit of an oilier kind of essential oil it's not a dry oil so it's really super moisturizing i found it to be really really helpful for dark circles under the eyes and that kind of like sunken tired fatigued sort of appearance um myrrh is really really wonderful for that too so i've been using it actually straight out of the bottle right on those puppies every day twice a day and i am loving it um myrrh has some spf protection factors in it so it's wonderful um, in that way as well, you can use it with your coconut oil to, which also has SPF benefit to really kind of kick things up a notch as far as skin protection goes. This doesn't, you know, mean that you don't need sunscreen. You definitely still do need sunscreen. Um, but, you know, everything that you can do to continue to protect yourself and keep your skin healthy and protect yourself from cancer is obviously going to be really important. Um, it was used in battle to stop people's wounds from bleeding. So myrrh has a long history of kind of difficult times and hard times and um, kind of hate and spite and, you know, murder and just like these really heavy negative sort of uh, aspects to it. And so in that way, it also, you know, because of this anger and violent context, it can also be helpful for us when we are dealing with things that make us angry and dealing with things that we are having a hard time letting go of and dealing with, you know, rage and different um, atrocities that have happened to us. Myrrh can help us work through those things. Um, it can help us heal trauma because it's been, you know, used in trauma historically for a long, long period of time. Um, myrrh initially came from North Africa and the Middle East, and that's still where we get a lot of our essential oils from today. Um, they were used in ancient Egypt with embalming, the, embalming pharaohs and medicinally in Chinese medicine we use it um, to help support the blood and um, relieve pain, healing traumatic injuries. Um, it helps with menses and postpartum. It helps with skin healing. So um, it's also a Chinese herb. Um, historically, it's also been used in honoring the dead and in religious ceremonies. It helps to kind of connect heaven and earth together so when you're transitioning someone from you know earth to heaven or whatever the case may be myrrh would be something that's helpful with that so that can be really helpful for people going through the grieving process there as well um, it's deeply calming and grounding it's kind of enveloping it's like sweet and earthy to me it kind of has this vibe of like being in an old library where it's just like quiet and peaceful but it's like there's so much knowledge there and it's like based in, you know, strength and intelligence, but it, um, but also being incredibly supportive. It's also kind of like a paternal sort of energy there, very protective and very holding and caring. Um, so this is really helpful for people that have been abused or are going through trauma and recovering from trauma to help kind of soothe the over worry. It's sort of like getting advice from a survivor to kind of help us stay in perspective and help us to heal um it provides comfort and protection um the only problem really with myrrh is that it can get really really sticky inside the uh, bottle here so as the oil kind of sits on the shelf it can evaporate a little bit and that can cause resin to kind of form along um the little screw guys there and then it can be really really hard to open so if you're having any issues with that in your myrrh oil just put some carrier oil i like to use a little sweet almond oil just around that edge and that'll actually prevent that from happening and then you don't have any issues opening and closing your myrrh which is really fabulous because if you can't get the freaking bottle open it's really going to piss you off and make it not very you know useful in your home so 
use more essential oil to benefit the skin and then also get these wonderful benefits of emotional support and feeling deeply calm and feeling protected and comforted, why shouldn't your um, skincare products work double duty and heal you mind, body, and spirit? Why would you just use the things that are just kind of superficially helping the skin in the short run? It's kind of a no-brainer. So tomorrow I'm going to be back checking and talking about geranium essential oil, which is another one of my most favorites. I love it. And then Friday we'll be checking in to talk about um, dirty makeup and uh, different things that you can think of in regards to the cosmetics that you're using on your skin. So hopefully you found that to be helpful. If you think that someone else may be interested in your friend circle, definitely share this video or comment. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely share them below here as well. I'm happy to answer everything and definitely feel free to interact with the video post live. I'm happy to answer any questions, comments, concerns you have at all because that's what I'm here for. So have an awesome day. Take care of yourself. And we'll be back again tomorrow. 10 a.m. Tea with Natalie every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. Take care. Bye-bye.